Ow! Privates! <laughs> knock, knock! I'm Mr. Kate! I'm here! I'll take a look at your place! Oh, hi. I'll drop by for a while! Mr. Kate. I'll help you find your style! Mr. Kate. We'll laugh! We'll paint! I'm Mr. Kate! Yay! Privates! Today's project Jacket Reboot Military Chic. For those of you that don't know what chic means, it is a French term for looking damn good. You need a jacket. You probably have one in your closet, or you could get one at the thrift store. Buttons. The jacket probably comes with them, but you might want some more. Needle. You probably already have that, or your mom does. Gold spray paint. They carry it at the craft store. First order of business, maggot. You're gonna spray your buttons. Then you're gonna sew them back on. Then you're gonna add some gold trim, and then you're gonna look fly. Fly, private maggot. So, hi, I want to update this jacket that I've had for about four years now. It's a nice jacket, but I'm sort of over it in its current state. So that's why I'm going to go all military chic on this thing, which is very in for fall and winter, the military look. But you could very easily do this on a shorter pea coat or a blazer or just whatever you have hanging around. So first step, you wanna just analyze the structure of your jacket. So this has this collar that I think will be pretty well suited to maybe add a couple more military-esque buttons. And then I'm actually gonna remove these, spray paint them gold, and then sew them back on. I have this trim that I got at the fabric craft store. I think that this would be something that a general would wear. I'm just gonna add this around the sleeves. First step, removing my buttons, and I'm gonna go outside and spray paint these suckers. Don't think I have to use Primer, maybe because, let me see, what does this say? Can you go on wood, metal, yes, I think those are metal, plastic, yes. Okay, perfect, so I don't have to use primer. All right, so my buttons are gold and beautiful. I love how they turned out, and I can already see that against this kind of cream of the jacket, it's really having that military feel that I want, but still being chic and something that I could wear every day. So now I'm just gonna sew the buttons back on, simply using a thread that matches my coat pretty well, and just doubling up the thread on a regular needle and sew on the button. And then just loop through the holes till it feels secure. Snip it. And now I'm gonna add the sort of sew buttons. We'll call them my medals. So I'm just gonna sew these onto the collar again the same way these just have one little loop in the back. I'm just lining them up in a row, finishing them off again like I did with the other ones. Snip it. You could just leave it as is if you like just the extra button embellishment. Or you could go a step further, and I'm gonna go a step further because why not? And add some of this braided trim to the sleeves. Measure the circumference of your sleeve and give yourself an extra inch because an extra inch can't hurt anybody. And I'm using the same color thread doubled up and I'm just gonna stitch and kind of tack it down using the loops that are already there in the trims. Make sure that your ends where you cut are really sewn with lots of stitches so that those don't fray. You can add some other tacks of thread around the other edge of your trim to just really make it feel secure. I think it looks very official and officially chic. I made my jacket military chic because why not? Thank you so much, everyone. We have reached the end of this video, but fear not. Please relax, enjoy, subscribe. Check me out on mrkate.com. Bye.